Welcome to chapter 9 of the Tally Learning Hub. In this session, we will learn about the profit and loss account in Tally ERP9. The profit and loss account reveals the money spent or the cost incurred in an organization's effort to generate revenue, representing the cost of doing business. From the gateway of Tally, press P for profit and loss account. This report shows the net profit or the net loss you have made in a period. Press Alt F1 for a detailed view. Here, you can see a detailed view of all expenses and incomes. Now, it would be very useful for me to know how much each of my expenses contribute to my total expenses. For this, I'll press enter on indirect expenses, press F12, make show percentages as yes, and here you go. I get the report with the percentage of each expense. Now, say that you want to know the value of how rent has been arrived at. You can press enter on rent to drill down. Seeing this report, I find that there is a mistake in the rent paid for October 2019. I have entered 1500 instead of 15000. To correct it, I can drill down to the transaction from the report itself. I will now change the value to 15000. Press Ctrl A to save the voucher. You will observe that as we go back, each report is concurrently updated with the revised amount. Let us now see another option to configure the profit and loss account in a vertical format. To view profit and loss account in a vertical format, press F12. Make show vertical profit and loss as yes. And there you go. Let's say that you want to compare your profit and loss account of February with January. Press Alt C for new column. Enter the front date as 1st February 2020 to date as 29th February 2020. You can now see a new column showing the details of February. Similarly, press Alt C again to create a new column for January 2020 details. This way, you can do a comparison. Now let's say that you want to do a month by month comparison of your profit and loss account for the complete year. You don't have to press Alt C each and every time and keep creating columns for each month. Just press Alt N for auto column, select monthly and your comparative profit and loss account will be ready in a few seconds. Similarly, the display of information in any report can be configured by the user either using the side menu bar or F12 options. This ensures that you get the maximum benefit of the data that is entered and more importantly, modify the display of information to suit your requirements. All right, here is a quick recap of what we learned. Configuring reports to show additional details using the F12 configuration like we added percentage in expenses summary. Correcting or editing vouchers from report and concurrently seeing reports with revised values. And multi-column comparative profit and loss account at the click of a button. In our next chapter, you will see the Outstandings Report in Tally ERP9.